Hey guys, it's Kegels here, and uh, you see we've. Uh, let me just let me go back and show you real quick where we are, just so you guys know exactly. Um, yeah, so you drop down in here. This is the center. We've uh, we've been doing pretty good. This is you see we've we've got a second double chest for uh, stuff, and uh, I did this hallway here, and I did sand to save on resources, and uh, yeah, we're I've mined this out. Um, I I'm gonna do a farm over here. It's gonna be my farm area. By the way, look at look at like how wonderful it is to mine stuff. It's so much fun when you actually have good tools. Uh, I think I've said it before, like in the past, uh, in a recent episode, that uh, I've never really had sets of diamond tools with good enchantments on them. I've always just used iron because I felt like diamond was better off as a armor thing. But, you know, I've come to know that the difference between diamond armor and iron armor, unenchanted, it's not too much. So, um, I've just, you know, I'm going to stick to iron armor. Maybe do a diamond chest plate or diamond boots with a uh, feather falling if I can get it. But yeah, um, I'm counting this out. This is this is hard right here, guys. I don't know uh, if you can tell. Like, it's just I find it really hard for me to count blocks like that when I'm just looking at like the same block. Like, it's easy if I can break stuff like this or if I put torches down. But if it's like a whole wall of um, you know, stone or dirt or something, it's very hard for me to figure out where you know one block ends and the next one begins because that outline. It's not as bold as it is like for uh like on if you're doing it on PC, if you're playing on PC, you can have the outline pretty bold and you can't do anything about it here, so like the outline around the block is just very small. It's hard to notice. Uh anyways, I, like I said, um I want that to be a um I want that to be a farm area. Like you know, we're moving here from that last area, so the only thing that's really still going from that last area is uh like the chicken farm and the cactus farm and um we're gonna move the cactus farm over here. We'll probably just tear the chicken. We'll we'll probably just leave the chicken farm. Actually, we can leave it over there. And anytime we come over, I guess you know we'll have that little we'll have that stockpile of chicken and feathers, and we can use those feathers for arrows and stuff. But uh, this I want this to be a farm area, and uh, you know this is all just solid, solid, solid. Like this is you know full earth. Uh, it, it's not like I've ran into a cave. Every bit of it you see that I've done so far, it's me mining it out. And uh, I want like. My vision, right, and this is what I want, but I'm not going to be able to do it. So, so here, like you see, I'm putting this, these down, and this is, looks ugly, and it's rudimentary, and it's not exactly, you know. But, um, oops. I, I kind of want, like, a... <sighs> Ugh, look how bad this is. What am I doing? Oh, no, oh, Lord. <sighs> um, I was trying to outline it, but I'm not good at outlining things, apparently. I want water to flow down from the ceiling and like a, a fountain kind of in the middle and then I want like um these like staircases that go up and and like spiral kind of not like spiral but you know like a circular staircase like you come up and then you can go left or right on the staircase and they take they both take you to the top but I won't I don't think I'll be able to do that uh, I looked for you know I looked for designs for the um the staircase and I couldn't find anything and uh just it and you see here like I'm, I'm trying to i want but this will take up like the whole room this would be like a feature in like a big area this is i just can't do that i wish i could i just can't we're gonna that would be where the water would come down and we'd want it to like spread so we'll do that but i mean yeah i, I just don't know it's probably not gonna stick like the design really uh, but I'll keep tinkering with it. I'll check. All right. Um, we're back, and there's some more. There's some work done. Uh, you know, we come in. La 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 la. Here's the room. It's wider. It's longer. And then uh, I'm working on clearing out this roof area. So it's gonna be two floors. Um, there. What I'm thinking is, because it's gonna be two floors, the uh, the center of the floor on the top, like there's gonna be a little outline. Uh, like two blocks wide all the way around those will stay and then everything else we can like we can break and turn into um whew, uh, We can turn it into um like a, a hole where you can like it's like a railing and you can look down on the farm from the top area and then um in the top area uh, Like with the center part of the base where you fall down the uh you fall down the chute and you land through the the water and you know you land in the middle of the base there's four cardinal directions you can go and this is going one of them 
I think what we can do, and I don't know if we'll do two or three, we'll either do um, two rooms on the sides, like on the left and right side of this room, or we'll do three and then it'll be like covering every direction in this room. Like you'll come into this room from one direction and then you can go three other directions on the second floor. The first floor will just be a farm though, at least for now. I think I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what I want. So yeah, just like, like look at this though. I'm sorry, I gotta keep saying it. I love it. Look at like how efficient these tools are. And I think this is like efficiency four, three, and I know it goes up to five. So I've never had, I've never had efficiency five. I've also never used a beacon. Like I've never had enough iron for one. I've never made one whenever they were available. So I think what I want to do is, um, we're gonna do like a caving episode one of these days or we'll just do like a um i'll be like hey this is me gonna go into the cave and then i'll make a hard cut after like an hour or two of mining and i'll just have a chest set down and be like all right these are all the resources i've collected and then like if it's diamonds or something and i'll have silk touch them then i'll be like all right now let's go to this area and we'll set it all down and we'll fortune it something like that you know like abba caving basically but there's no competition because i don't have anyone playing with me anyways um I don't know about these stairs. Like, I was thinking, I'm thinking, I want, when you come in, like, you come in, right, bam, this is the room, and there, you go up here, right? I could, I could do the same stairs on the other side, um, but I just don't, I don't know yet, you know? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get, I need to get grass blocks, like, grass blocks, not dirt, you know? So, because I, I, I think I'm, the stripe, like, the, um, the two wide block thing that I was talking about upstairs, like the pathway that's like the border of the room. I think what we can do is we can make that grass. I think that would look pretty good. Like on the bottom it's farm and then you go up on top and it's like, you know, there's an, a border of like sandstone and then uh, you, that you're walking on grass. So just like, it's like a room with a whole bunch of life in it. Cause like you see in this room, I've got grass blocks. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the grass blocks. I, I might. But this room definitely needs, it needs like, this is going to be wooden, and this is going to have, you know, um, the crops and stuff in them. There's going to be water, it's going to be like, you know, flush with life. But basically, this area you see that mining, like this two area here, this is going to be like this. So we're going to just smash, we're going to we're gonna throw in all this dirt here, and uh, I guess we'll, we'll do this all the way around the room, and then we'll have, we'll have like... The, the third block, like the one touching this one, we can make that a different type of block so that um, we can connect like wood pillars like they're supporting the floor or the ceiling. Because, um, you know, you don't just want stuff floating, even though stuff floats because, you know, it's it's Minecraft physics and stuff. I'm one of those people who just, I don't like seeing something floating if there's no reason for it not to be. Like if it's, if it's purely decorative like this, then I want it to make sense. Like if it's a farm, like if it's, it's the gold farm, right? No, I won't mess with it. But if it's something like this, that's like if I'm building in water and you do like, if people do like those, um, the docks with the wooden pillars and they do them on the top of the water, but they don't do them down below. That's so stupid because they've started less like decoration for support beams, but they go nowhere. So they don't really support anything. But I mean, I guess that's just me. I don't know about you guys. You tell me down in the comments if you guys are like that, like, you know, realistic builders. But um, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and finish up doing this. This floor area, we'll just finish dropping in there, and I'll catch you guys um, in the next cut. All right, sorry. How are you guys? How you doing? You see, we're uh, in the middle of the base. I think this is gonna be a quick little bit. I just want to show you. We are filling this double chest up pretty quick, and the bottom one, like the bottom one, is completely. Uh, it's completely cobblestone. The top one's like, you know, partially cobblestone and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but yeah, we've got, we got another shovel and, uh, I'm still trying to get a silk touch shovel, but still, I mean, it's nice to have, you know, variety. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I guess I'll come over here and we can show you a little bit of progress we've made. So we'll walk for a dramatic effect, but he, basically this is the mock-up I've come up with. Um, I've got to switch this over to wood still, like it's going to be a wood border all the way around, and uh, I've got to copy these these and put them on both sides of each block, and uh, 
I basically just gotta go back to where my wood farm was. But yeah, this is what I've got so far. So there's this like there's like this trim around the room with glowstone, obviously. Um, and that's where a room's gonna be. That's a center, so I don't know if we'll have a room there because it's only one wide. And then behind me there's two. And then we put glowstone down in the bottom. We're gonna break out like the ceiling part, and we'll have to put like we can have water running down it maybe, or maybe just like lighting. But yeah, so this is this is really all I've got so far. Uh, it took a lot of time to actually do it. But uh, I just wanted to jump over and tell you guys, or show you guys what's been going on. And I'll catch you guys over uh, in the desert, because we're going to have to do some resource collecting. So I'll see you guys over in the old desert temple. Alright guys, we're back and we're at the old desert temple. I just want to show you this thing. Alright, this is a efficiency 5 pick. I've never used them before. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Look at that. Could you? And could you imagine having like a haste with a beacon and this this is the fastest i've ever mined anything this is like netherrack with uh, an efficiency pick except i'm sure that will go even faster than this look how sick this is guys i came over here because we need more sandstone because you know sandstone is sandstone is very uh annoying and expensive uh but it's, i like it yeah look at this it just i don't know it blows my mind I, i've never i've never had uh, in good enchanted tools before. So, yeah. I think the highest I've ever had was efficiency 3 on, um, on a diamond pick. So, efficiency 5. By the way, um, to get these enchantments, uh, there's, like, four double chests completely full of, uh, zombie flesh from just killing zombies at the, uh, zombie spawner. And I can't tell you how long that took. It's just, ugh. But, listen, I say it's ugh, but it's definitely worth it because, like, look how fast this is going. Normally, this would be something that I would be doing off-screen because I feel like it would bore you, but I feel like this could not possibly bore anyone. Oh, no, we're going to have to clear up space. We came here, we came here for, we came here for, uh, these resources, and we're not even picking them up. So we're literally just going to throw, we're going to throw all of this, this stuff away. We want to get as much space as possible. We're basically... And I should have thought of this and, like, thrown away my, or, you know, emptied my inventory first. But, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just drop a lot of it and see how much we can get. Uh, mind you, this used to be, like, a full desert temple. Like, the two layers and then the little tunnel you fall down in the center to get the, uh, the goodies and stuff. And, uh, it's basically, oh, 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 watch this. Bam! That's, like, knockback two or three and then, like, fire aspect and, uh, smite, I think. I don't think I was lucky enough to get sharpness on it. I think I did get smite, but it's like smite five. So, I mean, yeah, pretty good. And, uh, I think I actually, I put fire aspect on it. Like, um, I did a lot of enchanting, but I did not want to risk getting like bad, bad tools. So some things I put like, uh, in books and then I would combine books with the, by the anvil. Whew. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm just like this still blows my mind how cool this is and uh i think what i want to do i want to find another one of these or because i don't think this one has enough like you know blocks left i want to find another one of these and come back here with this pick but have a uh a haste beacon up too and see how fast that is because that's gonna be awesome look at us we are oh my gosh we are getting beat up jeez all right, let's see. We've got to throw in one of this stupid spider crap real quick. And then we need to eat something. Yeah, you see, we need to get back to our, our potatoes because, you know. Anyways, I just thought you guys might want to uh, see how awesome these uh, these new tools are and how, how awesome Efficiency 5 is because, you know, look at it. It's amazing. It's like Instamine, basically, I think. I don't know how fast Instamine is, but this looks like it. Anyways, um, I'll leave you guys off with the rest of this. I'll just, uh, I'll be quiet and we'll just pick up the rest of this and then, uh, we'll be on our way. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on our, um, our chute that drops down from the top of the pyramid to our base like that little tunnel you fall down. So, uh, yeah, we'll finish up here and, uh, I'll catch you guys over there.
hey guys, how you doing? Uh, you see, we're at the bottom of the, uh, we're at the bottom of this thing. And, uh, again, I can't get over this beautiful, like, super speed. Uh, basically, I super over-harvested obsidian whenever, uh, I was doing the gold farm, sadly. Um, so, I'm going to replace the, uh, sandstone, every bit of it, in the chute, uh, with this obsidian, and then... Where the uh, orange stripe is, like in the center parts of the four sides, I will uh, put glowstone. So we're gonna have to like, we're just gonna have to stack up and, you know, get our sleeves rolled up and get dirty or whatever. I don't know. We're just, uh, it's, it's something that I liked. I like the design because it's like falling into a desert temple, but then I didn't design the rest of the base like a desert temple, so I feel like it's kind of just a little out of place. And uh, I feel like it's also a good use of the obsidian because I don't think we're ever going to use four and a half stacks of obsidian. So, uh, yeah, we're just... Uh, I'm really worried I'm going to misplace this, but then again, I'm... I, like, I feel worried because, you know, I, it's like a learned thing. But then I know if I place it wrong, I've got an efficiency five pick. So, I don't know. It's just, it's cool to have, like, good tools now. I should have brought a pair of shears. That's honestly... I should have done that. It's going to take a lot longer because of that. And it, it might, you might not think it, but, like, I'm breaking out all of the wool, and it's, like, four layers of nine wool, so... It'll, it'll it definitely add, like, another minute to this, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if you'll like... I don't know if I like this design. See, there, there it is. Ugh. Anyways, I don't know if I'm really excited about this design i think i need to go and harvest a whole bunch of uh glowstone and then just do a different design but for right now um this is what we've got going because i have like just enough uh glowstone just enough glowstone look how fast this is i'm sorry i've got to stop saying stuff to to just talk about this look at this oh 